back in the Premier League. And that means the return of matchday vlogs. Sadly, I'm terrified for this one. Our start to the season at home against Tottenham. I'm not feeling confident, but let's do this. If the team sheets are as expected, I sadly think we're going to lose 5-0. Team news just come out. Vardy is starting. We didn't even think he was going to be fit to play any part in this game, and he's starting. Alongside Buonanate, Mavadidi bench for Decord over Reed is interesting to say the least, but I'll have the team sheets up on the screen. Maybe it'll only be 5-1 instead of 5-0 to Spurs. But then the Spurs team is basically as strong as it could be, other than, I can't remember who the midfielder was that's been banned because he was having balloons or something. Big Dom Solanke starts, as does Matters, as does Son. Maybe there's a tiny bit more hope that we'll get a goal today, but our defense is going to get ravaged. It feels good to be back. Walking to the ground, going pub before. I've missed it. Yeah, that team news could be closer than they imagined. But even if we get smashed today, we're back in the Prem. We're back at the KP. It's good vibes, man. And Vardy having that one last swan song season before he inevitably either retires or goes across to play in America or something. Come on, you blues! matters and yet we still didn't pick it up which is frustrating we've not created much going forward uh, but Fatawu and one enough say link up is the one right now if we're going to do anything Andidi maybe next game would be swap for skip and this Premier League experience of Bobby Decord over Reed no get Mavadidi on hope that a miracle can happen in the second half let's go second half then lads come on we need more on the ball.
one and nothing, Vardy. Okay, David, better second half. Come on, Jan Searle, big free kick. Back here, come on, lad. Yeah, Jan Searle, that's a big kick. Yeah, 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 that's a big kick. you say other than wow that was so unexpected a one-all draw might not sound great on the face of it but considering we got promoted lost one of our best players lost our manager got in a manager that a lot of the fan base weren't immediately getting behind we failed to bring signings in i thought as a lot of other people did that we would get decimated but instead we only got battered in the first half. <laughs> if the entire game had been like the first half, we could have lost about 4-0. But Steve Cooper clearly actually has some kind of tactical changes and instructions. You heard it in interviews after the game, but the second half, we came out so different. It was amazing. That isn't something that we really saw under Enzo last season. It was more of the same for the entire game, regardless of what the result was. It was frustrating. So to see that was amazing. And it's more than just a point. It's confidence. It's belief. It's backing of the manager, the players. Some of these players have been laughed at before and people said that they're not at the level. It's only one game. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves and suddenly think, oh yeah, we'll be fine even with a point deduction. Yeah, we'll finish top 10. No, that's utterly ridiculous. But a point at home to Spurs with the squad that they have and the manager, it's incredible. And my final thoughts are Hermansen had a really good game. I thought Christiansen and JJ had much better second halves. They were really, really good at nullifying their threat. Winks solid in the midfield. Undidi put in some big challenges and that clearance off the line that I actually managed to film was awesome. Also, very quickly, before my other final thoughts, let me know your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. I'll do more of them. Subscribe for more. That kind of thing. Vardy, he's just the GOAT. Fatawu, very good game. Bobby D. Cordova Reed, not so. I would immediately drop him for Mavadidi uh, on that left wing going into our next game. But Buonanotte, they say don't fall in love with a loan signing. But if that loan signing helps us somehow potentially defy all odds and stay in the Premier League, I will love that man. And whenever we next play against Brighton, he will get the biggest set of applause because, my God, what a debut. Incredible. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more of him and just more of the squad, getting behind the manager and everything like that. There are many, many positives to take from that first game. And maybe there's a little bit more optimism we'll see but hell yeah what a game